So for this video you saw the title Theo Zidane called up to the Real Madrid first team But hear me out I know he's been called up for two games now so far He didn't play either He didn't play neither But how good is he? And I know people say oh nepotism, nepo child, all this stuff Because Zidane, Sizu, the great Zinedine Zidane is his father which listen let's cut that narrative yes he is in the squad because Zidane is his father but let's cut that narrative he didn't ask to be Zidane's son you know what I'm saying but let's talk about how good he is so Theo Zidane, Theo Zidane whatever floats your boat he in my honest opinion and I know people are gonna hate on this video and people are gonna disagree with me. I think he's... He's alright. That's what I say. He's alright. Yes, people are gonna look at these clips and... Think he's not that good. If we're looking at him as in Zidane's position... No, he's obviously not a good attacking midfielder. But I honestly think... He has great potential... To be a good CDM... Or a good centre back because he's super tall, he is defensive, he tries skills out which it looks so slow, his passes are slow. He was called up to the first team. I'm interested to see how good he could be in CDM because I think genuinely he's tall, he could be a good CDM. Is he Madrid quality? Is he even Castilla quality? I don't know if he's even Castilla quality. But I don't know. But super slow. You can you can be the judge of this. I'm not gonna say he's bad, I'm not gonna say he's good. But what's your opinion? Is Zinedine Sedan's son? It's 21 years of age, which he is on the older side when you compare young players to him. But he's still young though. I don't know. Is he really that good? Is he good enough to be called up? Because there's many other players like Manuel Angel. I can name a few who could have been called up. But Theo Zidane and Zalotti see something else. I actually saw a training clip of him in one of the latest Real Madrid training YouTube videos. Like I saw him get a few touches on the ball, doing a few skills. It did look slow but still, he has potential. Let's just say he performs. Let's just say he performs for the first team. He could be a good backup for two or many. But then again, I can't even put him on that. Like, can't put him on that scale. But looking at his gameplay, he looks super slow. Super slow. Or maybe this footage is slowed up. Shout out to this YouTube creator that puts these videos together. But, Theo Zidane, is it good enough? I actually don't think so. I actually don't think so. But I'm also, I don't know, I've never watched him play a full on match. And we don't know what he's capable of. But his headers look slow, his passing looks slow. His running is slow, like he has no pace. I think he could be a good, okay I've said this multiple times, he could be a good CDM, good centre back. He's just super slow. But leave your opinion. I'm not here to speak negative about him, but I don't think he's top, top quality, but I think he has potential, so, and also we've seen a few academy players step up, we've seen Gonzalo Garcia make his debut, we've seen Nico Perez, we know what he's done, Theo, we don't know what he's capable of, he could just be an outstanding player out in the way, but, I mean, that's all I wanted to say for now. But if you enjoyed this video, I suggest you watch this one. Or the ghoul and how he could possibly return and when he could possibly return. But he is back on the pitch. But if you enjoyed, smash like, subscribe.